On July 7, 1892, the secret society called Katastazan, Kagalung Galung Nan Katapu Nun Nang Manga Anak Nang Bahian, Supreme and Venerable Society of the Children of the Nation was founded. It is popularly known as Katipu Nun. They advocated for freedom from the yoke of Spain, to be achieved through armed struggle. But, how much do you know about Katipu Nun? Here are 10 little known facts about the Katipu Nun. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tap the notification bell to easily notify you to my future ample videos. Number 1. The establishment of Katipu Nun was already conceptualized as early as January, 1892. The society called Katipu Nun was founded on July 7, 1892, but a document recently discovered suggests that it was not the date it was conceived. The news of Rizal's deportation to Dapitun on July 7, 1892 may have been the final catalyst that brought the society to life, but it had been plotted a while earlier. This document dated January, 1892 is a draft of the foundational document of Katipu Nun entitled Kase Sayan, P. Neg Kasun Duan, Mangadaki Lanka Utusan. Number 2 Kati Punan was first spelled with a C. In the document dated January, 1892, Kati Punan was spelled with a C. Thus, the January document called the society the Katastasan, Kagalung Galung Nan Kati Punan in one instance, but otherwise just the Katastasan Kati Punan. The official founding document of Kati Punan was written in August. 1892, a month after the founding of the Society in July, 1892. It is based in part on the version drafted in January, 1892, but substantially different in other parts. The August document spelled Katipu Nun with AK. Also, this document sticks to Katastasun Katipu Nun, and does not employ the adjective Kagalung Galung Nan at all. Number 3. Kati Punan was founded by six men. Boni Pasha was only one of the founders of Kati Punan, he was not even the first supremo. In 1892, Diodato Arellano and other Freemasons, like Andres Boni Pasha, joined La Liga Filipina, an association founded by Jose Rizal upon his return to the country. Arellano was elected the league's secretary. A few days after the establishment of La Liga, however, Rizal was arrested and detained at Fort Santiago. On July 7, 1892, Governor Yolo Heo de Spujol announced his immediate deportation to Dapitan. That same day, at the house of Diodato Arellano at 72 Azcarraga Street, now Recto Avenue, Andres Boni Pacho, Teodoro Plata, Valentin Diaz, Ladislao Diwa, Jose Dizan and Diodato Arellano himself gathered together to found an underground association, the Katipu Nun. To learn more about the founders of Katipu Nun, see our video The Founders of Katipu Nun. The link is posted at the description below. Number 4. Diodato Arellano was the first supremo of Katipu Nun. Contrary to popular belief that Andres Boni Pacho, though undoubtedly one of the more prominent founders of the Kati Punan, was not its first supremo or president of the Kati Punan. The first supremo was Diodato Arellano who was elected in 1892. Thus, on July 15, 1892, the members of the Supreme Council were Diodato Arellano, supremo or president, Boni Pacho, controller, Ladislao Diwa, fiscal. Teodoro Plata, Secretary, and Valentin Diaz, Treasurer. As President, Arellano endorsed the laws of the Cati Punan formulated by Plata and Diwa. Also, he was very careful about hiring new members for there were too many spies. However, he did not last in that position. Several months later, in February 1893, Boni Pacho intervened and accused Arellano as an ineffectual leader. 
This was a big mistake for Boni Pasho, as Aureliano was very cautious upon picking members to join the Katipu nun. Because of Boni Pasho's intervention, Aureliano stepped down. Number 5. Roman Bassa was the second supremo of Katipu nun. As Boni Pasho succeeded in deposing Diodato Aureliano as head of Katipu nun, thus, in 1893, another election was held. However, it was not Boni Pasho but Roman Bassa who was elected as president of Katipu nun. Bassa introduced some changes in its operations, particularly the formation of a women's auxiliary section. Eventually, Boni Pasho also deposed Bassa in 1895 after the latter criticized him over the recruitment process and his handling of the organization's funds. After the Katipu nun was uncovered in July 1896, Bassa was arrested for sedition and treason in September 1896. After being convicted by a Spanish military court, he was executed by musketry on February 6, 1897. Number 6. Andres Boni Pasho was only the third supremo of Katipu nun. From the beginning, Boni Pasho was one of the chief Katipunan officers, although he did not become its supremo until 1895. He was the third head of the Katipu nun after Diodato Aureliano and Roman Bassa. Prior to this, he served as the society's controller and then as its fiscal. Number 7. Kadi Punun had a secret chamber established during Boni Pasho's presidency that punished its members. While well known is the fact that the society operated like a shadow government with its legislative and executive functions, its judicial branch is a little more obscure. During the presidency of Boni Pasho, within the society functioned a secret chamber, called the Kamara Secreta, secret chamber, composed of Andres Boni Pasho, Emilio Jacinto, and Dr. Pio Valenzuela. Also called the Camara Negra, Black Chamber, and Camara Reina, Supreme Chamber. This sinister sounding body doled out punishment to members who betrayed or broke the bylaws of the Katipu nun. Every Katipu Nero stood in fearful awe of this chamber. According to Jose P. Santos, throughout the existence of the secret chamber, about five Katipu Neros were convicted and sentenced to die by it. The death sentence was handed down in the figure of a cup with a serpent coiled around it. Number 8. Kadi Punan tried to solicit Japan's help. The Kadi Punan, in its bid to secure support for the revolution, also looked to Japan as a source of potential aid. At the time, Japan had been a shining example of defiance against Western influence and the Kadi Puneros hoped that the Japanese would also help them fight off the Spanish. In fact, the Cadi Punan's Big Three along with Daniel Tarona and interpreter Tagawa Jose Moritaro secretly met with the captain of a Japanese warship and the Japanese consul at a bazaar in Manila on May 1896. During their meeting, the Cadi Punan handed to the captain their letter to the Japanese emperor asking for the Japanese people's help to liberate the Philippines. Although the end of the meeting saw the Japanese agreeing to sell the Filipinos much-needed arms and ammunition, the deal never transpired due to a lack of funds and because the revolution broke out prematurely. Also, Jose Dizon, the man tasked to secure the weapons from Japan, was one of those arrested early on. Number 9. Jose Rizal was made honorary president of Katipu Nun. There is a Katipu Nun document that confirms the fact that Jose Rizal was made honorary president of Katipu Nun. This document was written and signed by Alejandro Santiago, the president of Katipu Nun's Catagalugan Council, dated March 30, 1895. The note informs Boni Pasho that the contributions collected to meet the cost of a banquet for, quote, the family of our president, Dr. Rizal, unquote. This note also collaborates with the testimony of Gregoria de Jesus that a number of Rizal's relatives were closely acquainted with the leaders of Katipu Nun. And that, in turn, suggests that Rizal himself had at least heard the Katipu Nun some time before Pio Valenzuela visited him in Dapitan in June, 1896. Number 10. 
it lost much needed support after the Rizal meeting. Kadi Punan respected Rizal's advice so much they sent Pio Valenzuela to Dapitan in order to secure his blessing for an armed revolution. However, instead of saying yes, Rizal denounced their plan as premature and instead urged them to gather more material support from the wealthy Filipinos if they really wanted to win. Upon hearing the news of Rizal's refusal to endorse an armed uprising, many of the wealthier supporters of the Kadi Punan withdrew their pledges of support to the movement. Not only that, a good number of rank and file members lost heart and turned in their membership. In August 1896, Kadi Punan, led by Boni Pasho, began the revolution not entirely prepared. Do you agree? Please leave a comment below. If you find this video informative and helpful, please give it a like and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will not miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.